so this video is going to be a shorter one, but it's also going to be one that I care a lot about. I'm very passionate about the subject of religion, and by that extent, I'm very passionate about this video specifically. Uh, this is a video response to Lesson 22, One Man, One Woman. It's a fucking horrible short. I hate everything about it, but that's to be expected. It should also be noted that my webcam is severely fucking up for some reason. I think last time it recorded in like 10 frames a second and I have no clue why. But I'm gonna try to fix that. I don't generally know how, uh, but I'll try to fix that before next video. Anywho, let's go ahead and get on with the video. It's about two and a half minutes long. Like I said, this is gonna be a short episode. It's all good. Look, Mom. I drew our family in school today. Oh, wow. I didn't have time to finish Caleb's face. <laughs> Carrie drew two mommies. This is not the type of thing that an elementary schooler would notice or particularly care about. Uh, a person would be like, wow, you drew a family, that's great. Hey, wanna hang out? Uh, elementary schoolers do not give a shit about the gender of people's parents. She told me they're married to each other. My teacher says that all that matters is that people love each other and that they're happy. Well, your teacher is entirely 100% correct. Congratulations. Hmm. Well, people have their own ideas about what is right and wrong. But what matters is how Jehovah feels. No. Jehovah can go fuck himself. He wants us to be happy. No, he does not. Clearly, because you just said it matters what he feels. You dumbass. And he knows how we can be happiest. No! No, he doesn't! What do you mean? That's why he invented marriage the way he did. Oh yes, that's why he invented marriage the way he did. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? What does that even mean? You mean one man and one woman? Exactly! No, I'm pretty sure that Jehovah invented that uh, because gay people cannot repopulate. And at that point in time, there were two people in the world. So, uh, it goes, it goes to show, uh, you have to have a man and a woman to actually populate the earth. Look at Genesis 127. Jehovah created Adam and Eve, male and female. That doesn't mean explicitly that a male and a male and a female and a female cannot be together. That just means like, oh hey, he created Adam and Eve, male and female, because guess what? You need to have Adam stick his wanger in Eve to make babies. That's how it works. Then in Genesis 2.24, he said that a man will stick to his wife. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean that being gay is not allowed. That could pretty much be something about, like, cheating on your wife. Now... I'm not defending the Bible or anything here because I know that the Bible goes against homosexuals. However, your examples suck dick. Metaphorically, of course. Later, Jesus said the same thing. Wow, Jesus said the same thing. I don't give a shit. Why do I care? No one cares. Jehovah's standards haven't changed. Yeah, but the standards of society have changed. Uh, we're not currently in a time period where we need to repopulate. We're, in fact, in a time period where we shouldn't repopulate, for the most part. So, if his standards haven't changed, then, well, that's unfortunate. It's kind of like going on an airplane. What would happen if someone wanted to bring something on the plane that wasn't allowed? <coughs> what?! <laughs> Are you fucking- Are you implying that bringing a literal bomb onto an airplane, 
a bomb that will kill dozens, if not hundreds of people, depending on the size of the airplane. Are you implying that bringing an actual bomb onto an airplane is equivalent to being a homosexual? Is that what you're saying? We can't go on the trip. Right. It's the same with Jehovah. No, it's not. Those two are not equivalent at all. When you put a bomb on a plane, you are trying to hurt many, many people. You're trying to explode the plane, kill people, be a terrorist. That's obviously not good. That's horrible. When you're a homosexual, you just like having sex with the same gender that you are. No one is hurt by that. He wants us to be his friend. He wants us to be his friend. No. No, he does not. If he actively wants you to be his friend, then he does not get to be an asshole. That's not how friendship works. And live in paradise forever! Uh, no. He clearly does not want us to live in paradise forever. He wants a very specific type of person to live in paradise forever. Where they're all gonna be a bunch of dickbags together with each other for eternity. While other people go to hell. Which, I remind you, is a place of eternal torment. If you actually believe that just because you're a homosexual, you deserve to be tortured eternally, go fuck yourself. But we have to follow his standards to get there. Why? Why, though? Why? Hear me out here. Even if God, you know, Jehovah, Allah, whatever, even if one of them is real, alright, why does that automatically mean that everything they say is okay? You know? Like, oh yeah, you're the creator of the universe, but also you're a prick, so why should I care? You know, like, chances are, if God is real, then most people in the modern day will be going to hell. That's like, most people do not follow the Quran. They do not follow the Bible, you know, etc. They don't follow it to a T. They don't do everything in the book, so they're going to hell. With that being said, why should we care if God is the creator of the universe? Just because he created everything does not mean he gets a free pass to be a piece of shit. At Matthew 7, 13 and 14, it talks about the road leading to paradise. To get there, Jehovah says we have to leave some things behind. That means anything Jehovah doesn't approve of. Or, or, and hear me out here, we could tell him no and be actual decent humans. Wow, he suddenly went from being gay to hating homosexuals. Yeah, that's really gonna get him into heaven. And the thing is, it would. It would, because, you know, in the Bible, in the Quran, you're supposed to hate homosexuals. You're supposed to not like them. So, yeah, according to Jehovah, he did the correct thing. But according to any decent human being, He's a prick. But I want everyone to get to paradise. I want everyone to get to paradise. If everyone had the qualities described in the Bible and the Quran and other religious texts, then it would not be a paradise. It would be a horrible place to be. So does Jehovah. And you know what? People can change. People can change. Jehovah wants everyone to go to paradise. <sighs> Fuck off. That's why we share his message. That's why we share his message. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so, so great. Yeah, instead of letting people live their lives how they want, you know, let's go interrupt them and tell them to believe in our God. And, you know, tell them to hate the gays. And... Tell them that slavery is okay, and tell them that subjugating women is just fine. 
Yeah, why not do that? That sounds like a good time to me. So, what can you say to Carrie? Well, I could tell her about the paradise. I could tell her about the animals and the resurrection. Or, hear me out here, you could do none of that and leave this poor girl alone. How about that idea? Is that okay with you? Yeah, go ahead and do that. That's awesome! No, it's not. You're being a prick to your classmate. And what's the, what is the best case scenario in this situation? Like, oh yeah, if your parents don't get a divorce, which, by the way, you're not supposed to do. <laughs> if your parents don't get a divorce, you're all going to hell. Oh hey, have fun living with two single parents, by the way. That's gonna be great. No. Let's practice. Let's practice. Wow. See, and this stuff is dedicated to children. You're supposed to have your kids watch these. It is meant to indoctrinate them. And that's absolutely horrifying. That is one of the worst things that a religion does. And like, all of them do it. There's not really a religion out there that doesn't try directly to indoctrinate kids. It's fucking horrible. Honestly. You know, I'm not one to get into the debate of whether or not there's an afterlife or anything. Because, you know what? I believe that you should just be a good person in your life. And then, at the end of it, either there's going to be nothing, or, well, you'll die and go to the afterlife knowing that you were a good person. You know? And, and what the fuck? It doesn't really matter, honestly, because we're all going to die someday. That won't change for a good long while, if at all, given the advances in scientific progress. So what's the point of worrying about it? You know, live a good life, be kind to other people, and if God is actually a good person, then you'll get into heaven. If not well then, there's really no point anyway. So, with that being said, I'm a little bit pissed off. Not much I can do about it, but that's fine. That's okay. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server. All of those will have links in the description below. There will be a link to this video in the description. Although, to my knowledge, it's a re-upload. So, you know, don't go dislike bomb this or anything. But, whatever. Have a good day.